Well everyone, it's August 27th here. I'm in southern Ontario, Canada and it's time to harvest the catnip. It grows wild all over North America and probably other countries in the world. So it's just right now for where we live. Of course if you're harvesting the nippers, it's lots of hard work. You're going to need a little nip for yourself. Don't forget, you love your cats, we love our beer. So, there she be. And I mean be. The odd flower is still left. Some plants are so mature they're already dying. That's still okay. As soon as they're ripe, they start to turn a little bit brown. Squish them up. Sniff them. Really smelly. Wee bit sticky. Just right. Got it growing all around my building. And I found the mother load. And it wasn't on my farm. This stuff likes to grow on rocky hills. And what's better than railroad tracks? Railroad tracks are all rocky hills, all along the tracks. And out east of London, boy, did I find catnip. I've got to go harvest that, and I'm going to have more than I could probably ever sell. So if you guys want to buy some off me, I'm just selling it for the price of shipping, plus just a little bit extra to pay for packaging. Not really trying to make a profit since I make so money, so much money off YouTube, and, you know, I'm already kind of rich. So enjoy cats around the world. Contact me if you want some. Thank you. A little more growing right there. A little more there. Kind of got it everywhere. Lots to get from the back of the farm. Sweet. So basically all you got to do to harvest, it, harvest this stuff is just pick it. Ugh. Ugh. Well, maybe cut it. It doesn't really want to come out. It's a pretty strong weed. We yank again. Ugh. Sorry. All right. Bring your snippers, cut it, hang it and dry it, lay it on the hood of a car, except it might make sticky marks, whatever, but dry it for several days, package it like in a jar, that's the best thing, mm -hmm. and if you let it age for a couple months, your cats will even like it more. Some cats like it when it's fresh and green, some cats actually don't even like it, it's a genetic thing, not all cats like catnip, but over 75% of them do. My cats don't like it when it's green, they don't even like it when it's just freshly dried out, they like it when it's aged a couple months. So I'll be uh, selling some of it to you guys, fresh, well, freshly dried, and then I'll have a big stash saved for later on, so you can get it when it's really good after it's been aged. Now we're moving. <clears throat> Perfect. Yep, just lay it down, hang it, it doesn't matter, but if you try it in your house, I'm telling you, your house is going to smell really weird for a while. Every cat and pussy in the neighborhood is going to be knocking at your door. Meow! Well, fixing the timing belt on the Toyota, I got into a little catnip. It's done being harvested. Mmm, what a sweet smell. Well, that's how much I got on my farm. If only you could be here and had smell-o-vision and you could smell what it was like inside that van. <laughs> it's awesome. If the doors were all closed and the sun was shining, I think a cat would OD in there, for sure. Now all I gotta do is dry that stuff up and package it. A bunch of it's gone to seed too. So there's all kinds of catnip seeds all over the place in here I gotta clean up. 
I'm sure lots of people might want catnip seeds. I'll send them just for the cost of postage. I could put those in an envelope and you can plant your own catnip anywhere in the world. I think it comes back every year in the same spot, so you only got to buy them once. Sweet.